All right, so here we have completed a very simple application. We've got a button. We click that button and it changes the label. We've added it to some simple action script. The next thing we want to do is we want to run this on the desktop and we want to see how it looks before we put it onto the device. So we're going to look at what they call the run configurations. Now uh, we'll go ahead and choose the uh, run and we'll go ahead and click that. Now if this is the first time that you have run the application, it's going to bring you uh, up to the run configurations dialog. Now what this does, notice how it says mobile application and it says simple application. Uh, if you've had other uh, apps, simple, you know, other uh, mobile or other apps running in your project, you have it listed here, they would show up here as well if you have run them before. So what we're doing is telling uh, Flash Builder how we want it to run this app and it's running this particular MXML file on this platform and we want it to run on the desktop. So we're going to go ahead and it wants us, we want to choose a device to simulate. So I'm going to simulate the Motorola Droid 2, which is the one that I have. And under configure, uh, there are a whole list of possible devices. And these are things that uh, are included here. You can obviously add your own. Uh, notice that we have the platform, the full screen size, usable size, uh, all sorts of information. And so uh, we here we have the pixels per inch that allows us to the density that we talk about. And so this is stuff that you can go ahead and create uh, to facilitate simulating the devices. So we've got the Motorola Droid 2. And at this point, we're going to go ahead and choose Run. Now what it does is it launches the ADL, which is the, uh, what is that? What is the ADL? It's the ADL. Well, of course. I believe it's, what is it, the Arnold Development Library? No, wait, no. It's got to be Apple doesn't like you. No, that, that's too many words. Um, I think it's the Air Debug Launcher. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what it is. What does it say? Debug. All right. So we have our button now. What did remember what we said? We click the button. Hey, hey, Brent, what's up? Oh, well, look at that. See, I spelled it wrong. Obviously, I don't have enough use because that's was up. <laughs> well, we want is was up. Well, we can fix that. Notice here uh, we do have some things we can simulate. So if we uh, rotate left or uh, rotate right. It'll change the landscape. Also, we can simulate the back button, the menu button, the search button. That way you can kind of test uh, your code. But again, what you're doing is running it on the desktop and you're just kind of simulating it and it does not make up for having it on a real device. So keep that in mind. You really want to have it on a device. All right, go ahead and click that and close it. Now, what we've done is created a run configuration and if I were to click this again, let's let's change this. Let's go ahead and clean this up. Up, uh, right? That's what we want. Go ahead and click save. Now, if I click this again, it's going to automatically run this. And notice that it didn't give us the dialog anymore. So, uh, what we want, if you want to change that, you can click the little down arrow here, and then you can click configuration. So if we could choose our configurations, then you can go back here and change what device, stuff like that. All right, in the next video, we're going to show how to run this on the device.